Welcome to the National Weather Service Detroit Pontiac segment on watches versus warnings. Some people can be confused by these products, so the purpose of this segment is to help clarify the differences. Before we leave this slide, I would like to call your attention to the map. The lighter shaded areas represent the 17 counties for which our office, which is actually located in White Lake, Michigan, just a little bit north of Pontiac, covers during a watch and warning event. A watch means that you need to keep a close eye on the weather because a potential exists for severe weather to develop. Watches are issued by NOAA's Storm Prediction Center in coordination with your local National Weather Service offices. Watches typically are issued several hours in advance of the storm and they cover a large area. This may span one or more counties or even several states. The threat may or may not occur. There is some uncertainty that exists on the development and timing of these storms. So stay alert for any changes and prepare in case a warning is issued. In a nutshell, a watch means to watch the weather. When a warning is issued, that product is much more urgent. It means that the threat is either already occurring or it will occur very soon and you should act right now. Warnings are only issued by the National Weather Service so all weather warnings for Southeast Michigan come from the National Weather Service Detroit Pontiac office. Warnings cover a smaller area than a watch and are issued much closer to the time of impact. A typical severe thunderstorm warning has an average lead or reaction time of about 22 and a half minutes. A tornado warning typically has a lead time or reaction time of only nine and a half minutes. So again, a warning means act right now. The next few slides will help add some visual perspective to the watch warning product for you. On the left hand side of the screen, the area outlined in blue shows a severe thunderstorm watch that has been issued by the Storm Prediction Center. This watch area as you can tell, covers about half the state of Michigan. On the right hand side of the screen is a radar image and the yellow outlined areas on this radar image represent the severe thunderstorm warning areas. So as you can see, the actual warned areas cover a much smaller footprint than the initial watch area covered. So again, the watch area means to watch the weather. It's a very large area, covers a lot of territory, while the severe warnings cover a much smaller area. The final slide in our segment is the severe thunderstorm warning area. Uh, versus the tornado warning area to put that into some perspective for you. Uh, again, the yellow outlined areas on the map here are showing the boundaries of the severe thunderstorm warning and inside of that warning the red area is showing where the tornado warning is covering. So as you can see the tornado warning a much smaller footprint than even the severe thunderstorm warning. Along with the smaller footprint, again, comes the smaller reaction time. So um, just to refresh, the uh, severe thunderstorm warning has a reaction time of about 22 and a half minutes, and the tornado warning has a reaction time of about nine and a half minutes. So particularly for tornado warnings, you need to act immediately. This concludes our segment on watches versus warnings. We hope you enjoyed this segment and thank you for listening.